toast to a magical pasta adventure. To a pasta adventure. Chef Missy Robbins has two Michelin stars under her belt. After the success of her first solo venture, Lilia, an Italian restaurant in Brooklyn, she recently opened Missy, pronounced like her name, but spelled differently. Robbins initially learned the art of pasta making while living in Italy, but today it's New Yorkers who are clamoring for a table at her Brooklyn restaurants. My friend Josh Beckerman, AKA the foodie magician, is a famous food Instagrammer slash magician, and I knew he was just the guy to get me in at Missy. Hey guys, it's Allie from Insider. And it's Josh Beckerman, the foodie magician. And Allie, I wanted to take you today to one of my favorite restaurants in all New York, and probably America, Missy. All right. Let's do it. Missy, do you know Allie? Well, I told Allie this is my favorite pasta restaurant in America. I've never been here before. I've been to Lilia. I love it, so I'm dying to try it. Why haven't you been here? Because it's a really hard table hard to resident. get. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know people. We can help you with that. Now I know people. We can help but you with that. I'm dying to look around and see how the magic happens. All right, great. Where do you want to start? Pasta room? Yes. The pasta room is where Missy and her team make 10 different kinds of pasta each day. The walls are windowed so that both diners in the restaurant and people walking by on the street can see how the famous pasta is made. So these are the oki. What she's Ooh. done is she's sheeted out two sheets of pasta and we have the filling here, which is a combo of sheep's milk ricotta and cow's milk ricotta. And she pipes all along and then covers the second sheet and then just punches them out with a little ring here. Apparently, there's some people saying I made up the shape. It's not true. Well, you know what I would call that shape? A circle. But that's just me. <laughs> I don't know if you actually did Well, and then what's happening over here? Over here, these are really cool. So these are called malaritas. These are little Sardinian handmade pastas. Each one of these is handmade. All right. Teach us what to do. So you just take your little thing. Okay. And you press your thumb really hard so that it curls over itself. Okay, there you go. Great. You, you got on, it. Hold on. Let's try again. What's Josh doing? I'm doing, no. a, I'm doing a little curl. <laughs> He's Josh, a delicate. All right, ready? Yes. One more. Ready? Look at that. Yeah. Press and move. Okay, it's harder than it looks. Yeah, it but, is. Ooh, Imagine how these guys pretty. feel. Can I try it? I eat raw pasta all the time. Look at this. It's really good. I created a new shape. <laughs> it's called a doodle pasta. <laughs> doodle -ine. You're hired. Once we learned how to make the pasta, it was time to learn how to cook it. We are going to make chickpea pappardelle with chickpeas, rosemary, garlic, lemon. Why don't you guys come back here and make it with me? What people don't often realize about cooking pasta is like you want to undercook it in this part so that you can finish cooking in the pan. I used to go to this place in a tiny town in Tuscany and eat a pasta that was chickpeas and rosemary and garlic and cheese and I for some reason have been thinking about it since then, which was 19 years ago, and finally put it on a menu. I don't know what took me so long. Josh, how excited are you right now for this? Beyond, beyond. This is a dream come true for me. Toast to a magical pasta adventure. To a pasta adventure. Mm. At the end, there's that little lemon zest. Mm -hmm. Just at the end. Mm -hmm. it's subtle, but perfect. You see why I've wanted to make this for 19 years? Mm -hmm. yeah. I love the story behind this because I feel like I'm kind of transported back to, you know, your time in Italy. Yeah. And yeah. Every dish for me sort of has like a reason of why it's on. I think there's a familiarity to my cooking that makes people feel like they're eating something they know, but they're eating it in a little bit more refined fashion um, than they can necessarily do at home, but it, it makes them think of things they might have grown up with. Finally, it was time for the moment of truth. Tasting the pasta. Oh. Here it is. Oh, That yeah. looks incredible. Mm, it smells amazing. Oh my God, they're beautiful. It's Thank gorgeous. you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Sheep's milk ricotta inside mm. of the ravioli. Mmm. Mm. I love that. Mm. What are you tasting right now? The Bartager adds that little salty fishiness to it, mm -hmm. which I like, mixed with the lemon. Mmm. This is a very addictive dish. I can't, I gotta go for more. You know what I always say, Ali, is diet starts tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I say that every day. It's okay. 
Mm. I take pictures of everything I eat yeah. and put it on my Instagram, at Foodie Magician. Anyways, I want to do a, a, like a nice picture of this spaghetti. So can you like twirl it up? Oh my God, this is stunning. This is the beautiful. I want to get it Oh my God. Is it, is it good? I know, he's really jealous right Give now. Give me some, come on. <laughs> this wanna... is super savory. The other was a little sweet, but the fennel on this mm. gives it a really nice mm. touch. I like that, it's, you know, a little licorice -y. Yeah, a little earthiness to it. Mm -hmm. Then you have these Sicilian almonds that <laughs> gives just the right nuttiness. Mm. Almost nutty. <laughs> I was You're gonna, gonna say, say that. You took the words right out of my mouth. I'm a mentalist. <laughs> my favorite, favorite, favorite reaction that I will ever get from anyone is I was just in Italy and this is better than anything I ate there. I mean, I learned how to cook pasta in Italy and studied it and over the last many years and I think when, when people have just been there and they can feel like they're back in Italy eating food that's equally as good or or in the same league or better, to me that's the biggest compliment. Or when people say this reminds me of home.